Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg, this is Bond. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and like the content, hey, why not subscribe? In today's video, I'm going to do a review of Corbell S12 from Castle Watches. Castle Watches is a micro brand based in California. They send me one of their watches in for review and I get to keep that watch. Now, of course, that's not gonna affect the review in any way, but I just wanna be as transparent with you guys as possible. Not only did they offer to send me one of the watches for review, they also offered to send one of you guys a watch of your choosing. Now, we're gonna do a little giveaway and the terms for the giveaway are gonna be at the end of this video, but the little spoiler for you is gonna be very easy to win one of these watches. All right, guys, so here's Castle Watch reference number for this one is Corbell S12. They have a whole bunch of different variations in terms of the dial collar and the strap. I went for a black dial with a beige strap, but as I mentioned, there are a whole bunch of different variations. If you're curious, check them out on their website. So let's start the review by looking at the dimensions. We have a case diameter of 42 millimeters. It's about 50 millimeters from one lock to another, a 22 millimeter lock width, and it's just under 10 millimeters. So I would categorize this watch as a perfect casual everyday watch, not necessarily a great dress watch. In my opinion, dress watches should be under 40 millimeters, maybe 38. 39 millimeters this being 42 is a little bit too large however wearing this with the jeans and the t-shirt going out to movies or to dinner or with the button down a shirt business casual that sort of thing is perfectly acceptable this watch is a better alternative to a lot of fashion watches that you find in department stores uh, watches like daniel wellington like movement watches that you can buy online now why is that why is this a better alternative well in my opinion the uh, specs the quality and the price all superior to a lot of designer watches now in fact i did a review of daniel wellington watch that could be found on my channel that watch is 200 bucks and doesn't have a sapphire crystal the finishes are nowhere near this level so of course this here wins over in my book now i know what you're gonna say you're gonna say hey oleg but why would you buy this watch for 50 bucks if you can buy a watch like Vostok uh, Amphibia or Vostok Kamandirsky or you can buy some Casio uh, models or you can buy a Seiko 5 for a little bit more money and all those are valid points. However, this watch in my opinion doesn't compete with those watches necessarily. This is a completely different uh, style of watch, a completely different uh, target uh, in terms of demographic who purchases these watches. To be honest with you, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but it's kind of cool to have the simple uh, designer watch. I got a few comments, a few compliments on the watch. It looks great and, uh, and uh, it's nice to have a quartz movement. Just take it out of the box and let it go. Now the watch is not perfect, so let me go over some positives and some of the negatives of the watch. Starting off with the positives, I do like the finish on this case. It's an all stainless steel case with all brushed finish. The, the brushing is done really well. For a $50 uh, price tag watch, it, it's done much better than it has any right to. We also have a sand crown at the three o'clock position. The case back is a stainless steel screw down case back with a laser etched castle um, logo. Some writing here, sapphire crystal, 316L stainless steel, water resistance, five atmospheres or 50 meters and Japanese Miyota movement. So the movement in this watch is a quartz Miyota movement. I believe it's 2035, nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. There is a sapphire crystal with AR coating. It looks really nice in different lighting conditions, in different uh, angles. It has almost a blue hue to it. I really enjoy it for $50, uh, not too bad. The dial is also done well. We have applied indices for all the hour markings there. Uh, kind of a stainless steel look to match the overall aesthetic of the watch. Uh, the design of this watch is actually my favorite part of it uh, because it's clean, it looks really nice, almost no bezel around the edges, which makes the watch wear a little bit larger. Just keep that in mind, but I do enjoy the design. We have applied Castle uh, logo and Castle written by six o'clock position. That's all the writing on the dial. Uh, the hands are done fairly well, but they don't look like anything special, nothing extraordinary, but again, 50 bucks can be expecting too much. Uh, one complaint that I do have about the dial, actually it's a couple of complaints. One of them being the fact that 
uh, it's kind of hard to tell what time it is in low lighting conditions because there is no loom on the dial and because I went for this black dial and uh, the design behind the dial is the fact that in different lighting conditions it reflects light really well because all of these applied indices are uh, brushed uh, sorry are polished so they reflect light really well so it's easy to tell time when it's uh, sunny and bright outside but I took the watch to the movies and it was kind of hard to tell what time it was during the movie because there's no loom and there's no light being reflected so it was pretty much impossible to tell what time it was so that's one negative but that's because I went for the black dial maybe the white dial would be a little bit better the second negative is just a personal preference of mine is the fact that this minutes hand is a little bit too short I wish it was a little bit longer I like when the minute hand reaches outer edges of the dial the leather strap is fantastic it's probably the best or if not the best one of the best leather straps that I've seen on a watch of under $100. It's soft, it feels of quality. I wore uh, this watch for almost a month now, on and off, not every day of course, but I wore it for one week straight and uh, just look, there's almost no wear on it. It's, it's really, really well done. Uh, I don't know how they were able to get this kind of strap on a watch for 50 bucks, but they did it. They also have a quick release pins, really enjoy those I think all watches must have them I don't know why in 2018 we still have regular pins if these sort of pins are available and we have a tank style buckle with the castle watch logo etched in now I do have one complaint about the strap and it's the buckle so you can see how the buckle is designed it looks cool but on the wrist this portion here kind of rubs against the inner portion of your wrist it's not too bad but it is a little bit irritating I wish uh, they designed it in a different uh, fashion or uh, so what I would be doing I will be replacing this buckle for a different one which is kind of a shame because the buckle does look really nice now one last thing I want to show you I don't usually show this in watch reviews but I think the packaging here is done pretty well so we have a simple paper uh, package it feels like a cardboard with a magnet here very satisfying opening and closing it and it's just a styrofoam so very simple but it's done really well uh, I think if you were to buy this as a gift for somebody uh, they would think that this watch costs a lot more than it actually does and partly due to the packaging and partly due to the quality of the watch so what are my final thoughts on the watch well I think the watch is actually done really well it feels and looks a lot more expensive than it actually is I think it's a great alternative to a lot of other fashion watches designer watches not everyone is into these kind of watches but if you are and if you're looking for one I would give uh, this castle Colbert S12 a serious thought and here's what the watch looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist as you can see it's a fairly big watch 42 millimeters plus the lack of bezel makes the watch look even larger uh, however it is thin so it wears uh, fairly light very comfortably uh, no complaints except for this buckle here being a little irritating other than that wears great and feels good all right guys so that was the review of Corbel s12 from castle watches i think it's a pretty good watch pretty good casual watch for a very affordable price a much better alternative to a lot of fashion watches and designer watches out there now for the giveaway so to win this watch there are only three steps step number one subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already step number two go to castle watches website and pick your favorite watch in terms of the uh, dial in terms of the strap uh, what is your favorite combination step number three leave a comment in a comment section below with your favorite combination for the watch that's it on july 5th so about three weeks from now or so uh, i'm gonna pick a name at random what i'm gonna do i'm gonna print out all the names that have left a comment on this video i'm gonna put them in a hat and pick one of the names at random and whoever gets picked wins the watch very simple now i wish i could give all of you guys a watch because i know that a lot of you have supported the channel from day one unfortunately we only have one watch to give away so try it you never know you might be the winner i appreciate you guys watching until the end like subscribe all that good stuff if you enjoy the content thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye